What's going on, friends? Hope everybody's doing well today out there. Hey, Ma, how you doing? I'm doing good here. Right here, I'm chopping up some golden beets for some Wagyu beef short ribs. Yes, Wagyu beef. It's fancy, I know. I got it at Pike's Place Market here in Seattle, which is actually not too pricey if you know what you're doing on shopping. So here I am just chopping up onion, root vegetables, some... Okay, here we go. So orange. So I chopped all this up, getting it ready for a braise that I'm doing here. I'm braising the short rib for like nine hours because the short rib is actually kind of tough if you don't braise it. So when I braise it for nine hours, it's actually melting off the bone when you serve it. So people will be very surprised that they don't even need a knife for this. So I highly suggest doing this. Uh, not with most meats, actually you just want to do it with the more tougher meats, like maybe like a roast, ribs, hotel ribs, not steak, do not do this with steak, it's a total waste of meat, I don't know why people do that. Uh, so this is actually a dinner I was doing for a dine app. It's actually a new app here in Seattle that just started up with really good people. Uh, you spell it D-Y-N-E, I'll have it at the end of the clip and actually I'll also show you what it is. It's an app that allows you to create dinners for different people around your neighborhood in your own home. It's actually pretty sweet. I've always wanted to do something like this. Uh, I just don't know how to program, so it's perfect. Um, so anyways, here's the Wagyu Beef short ribs. I just seared it off with a little bit of flour, a little bit of fat, just to get it golden brown before I put it into the pot. There you go, here it is on the flat top. Those are the last three I'm doing there. Uh, you can ask your butcher to actually cut it for you that way if you'd like. Just ask them for a, a two inch cut. That's what I did. I just asked them for a two inch cut and I got those really nice, uh, you know, rib shape kind of things there. Because usually they'll cut them like hotel rib style and it's kind of thin and unsatisfying. You can't really freeze it when it's that thin. So here I am just sauteing all these root veg, adding the flour to the fat just to make some sort of quick roux. A roux is actually, it's a mix of flour and fat. It thickens up your sauce. In this case, I'm using a braised liquid. Adding a little more there. You'll see me adding some cheap red wine here in a while. There you go. Cheap wine. So once I get that all stirred in, I'll just add in my ribs, and I'll add in some liquid. In my case, I used some water because I didn't have any stock, but I suggest using some beef stock. Freaking awesome using beef stock because it comes out super flavorful, but actually, it came out pretty good doing it with water anyways. So, you know, either way, just, you know, whatever you decide to do, it's your choice, you know, your decision. There you go, I put some seasoning. This is kind of fast here. Look at that, there you go. You just let it go after after this. Just let it go for like nine hours, eight hours. There's Kate enjoying that orange from Pike Place. Yeah, it takes really long, so I just I suggest, you know, watching it. Do not let it go without, you know, an eye on it. Don't want to start any fires here. And just do something for eight hours, nine hours. You could actually do this in a slow cooker, which I do not have. Do it in a slow cooker. It's much better. You just set it and forget it. All right, so here is the watermelon salad. This is one of my favorites that me and a sous chef came up with here in Texas. So all it is is you get a watermelon, you cut these rings out with a ring mold, or you can just you know, do whatever shape you want, like a square with a knife, whatever. And then you top it with a mushroom duck cell. Here is the panna cotta, sour cherry. Getting it all plated up. It was actually a very fun dinner. 
you guys seriously have to check out this Dine app. It's going to be spreading all around America. So I'm going to show you at the end of this clip. Oh, here's all the dishes. Watermelon salad. There's the braised Wagyu beef. There's the panna cotta with figs. It was a very nice crowd that night. I'm going to do many more of these. It was a lot of fun. Here's the Dine app right here, you guys. You can check it out at Dine.com. And you can find me there, if not be. I'm going to be doing more dinners if you're here in Seattle. So it's really cool. You make your dinner, create a price point. People can review you. So if you suck, I guess you're going to bad reviews. <laughs> Just kidding. So uh, here are different cooks on here. Actually, all the cooks are like hand-picked, so you're always going to have a great experience. I mean, they're hand-picked by the dying people, so I highly suggest, suggest this, so I uh, can't even freaking talk today. So anyways, it goes into host mode when you click that, and it goes into guest mode if you want to just go to a dinner. And that's it. That's the Dine app for you.